guess who came through the door? Right. The uh -huh. queen herself, mm -hmm. Iyanla Von Zant is here, everybody. Iyanla. Uh -huh. And let me tell you, you are looking fabulous, honey. Thank you. 60 looks great on you. Uh, 65, excuse me. Has it been that long? And I would never deny a day of it. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Because I what can't believe it's been, been that long that I've been five alive. Years. No, five <laughs> years. Because the last time I spoke to you, you were getting ready to celebrate the big six out. That's right. Oh, my wow, gosh. Wow, that yeah. is way, way too, too long. Well, y'all don't invite me. You don't like me. Whatever. You a homegirl. <laughs> I told you the door is always open for you. You know, I was talking to one of our millennials, and she was like, I didn't know that she gave herself or somebody gave her the name Iyanla. Can you explain yeah. to our millennials about the transformation? Uh, <laughs> yes. I went, I went through an initiation uh, 35 years ago. Yeah. And whenever you do a deep, spiritual process like an initiation when I became a Yoruba priestess I was my name was changed so the elders um, give you guidance and counsel and they give you a name that supports your new nature mm. and so Iyamla means great mother and it's not about mothering children or birthing children it's about what mothers do which is teach and nurture and beautify and nourish so wow. that's what I do Teaching is your purpose. Teaching through Iyanla Fix My Life for how many seasons now? This is five. Wow. Yeah. Did we going into the fifth? Yes. Okay, and that's March 3rd. We're going to step into season five. Beloved, a traumatic <laughs> season. Let me tell you, I saw the trailer, and I kept rewinding because it was so much going on, I so know, much so stuff in so little time. Um, I did catch Trina Braxton. Okay. And... First, I want to discuss her because I thought the d divorce, I mean, I thought they had a divorce and they were going their separate ways. They didn't have to really co-parent anymore because the kids are grown, right? right? What is this about? Well, they want to have a healthy separation, oh, okay. you know, and growing from being partners to being friends. Mm -hmm. And also there was a breakdown between Gabe and the boys. Those are not his biological children, but of right. course he was there. So he really wanted to mend that breakdown. And he discovers in the show that, you know, some things that I'll wait and let you see. Mm. <laughs> also, Diamond Reynolds, Philando Castile's fiance, who was in the car with him when the police gunned him down. And But I didn't know about the assault last year. Yeah. With the hammer, did, does she discuss that? No, we don't we talk don't about that. The only no. thing we deal with is trauma. Trying to she get... is such a, a you know, a... a, a magnificent demonstration of trauma yes. because there's so much of it in our community that goes unaddressed mm -hmm. that we just don't deal with the trauma and then we live the trauma over and over and over by repeating the story by reminding ourselves and by people reminding us so while hers you know none few of us are going to have that level of trauma but we right. have a lot of trauma mm -hmm. in our community from death and illness and the way we talk to each other <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, just watching the show, uh, yeah. you know, we see the trauma that, you know, these families go through. Right. I wonder what it does to you. How do you cleanse after? Because with a lot of that, there's a lot of negative energy with a lot of what you do. Well, I, I don't see it as negative energy no. at all. And it's not mine, so I don't have to take it on. I mean, I do my prayer, I do my meditation. I, I do, I do what, I, what a, my black girl magic. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't take it on consciously because each guest has to come to me with an intention. They have to tell me what it is that they want to do. Mm -hmm. What I do is I listen very deeply. I listen to every word, every sound. I watch their face, their feet, their knee, their legs, how they're moving. And then I... In my listening, identify what it is that stands between them and what they say they want. To me, it's it's technical. I'm like a surgeon. I'm a spiritual technician. Right. I'm a spiritual surgeon, so I'm listening. And once I identify what stands between them and what they want, mm -hmm. I just tell them that. you know, And I give them the information. I give them the tools. Some of them do very well, and some don't. So but, I don't have to take that on. Right, of but, myself, I can do nothing. But you're human, so some things will stay with you. What what one story this season stays with you? That the one, I you know stays with. They don't really stay with me. I 
because I don't take them on. You know what? Do you think the surgeon thinks he has to cut one patient deeper than the other? No. But, but some just people cuts. touch you. Some people oh, touch you in every ways. Every guest touch me. I have such separation anxiety from every single That's one of them. That's what I'm talking them. about. Yeah. yeah I, know, know? I could imagine. And I'm like, oh, my God. You know, because I fall in love with them. Yeah. I fall in love with them, even though I make them mad, and they, <laughs> they get mad at me. And how. Um, but I do have a story this season that I think was just so amazing for me. I have a family. Uh, mother and father had eight children. Both of them were addicted. Um, two of the children, one is doing life in prison. Mm-hmm. Another one is deceased. But uh, five sons were separated in the foster care system mm-hmm. because the parents were addicted. They were separated, these five brothers, okay. and met each other in a group home. And really? didn't even know they were they were brothers. brothers. Blew my mind. Wow. See, that's and the kind of magic that came, happens yeah. on the Eon Love Fix My Life. You find out. How do you find these people? Do they reach out to you? Yeah, do yeah, you, yeah. They yeah. reach out to you. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of letters. Hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of letters. Who would you say is the A student of the spiritual technician? The A student? The A student. Who's really done well after? Oh, my God. There's so many. Um... They all do well. You should ask me who didn't do well. <laughs> well, we know who didn't do well. <laughs> That's not easy, we know who didn't to do identify. well. You know right. why? Here's what I know. Mm-hmm. So many people live their life just wanting to be seen and heard. They want to be heard. Nobody takes the time to listen anymore, mm-hmm. you know? And I listen, and I validate, and I hear and people really do leave their transform. Now, if they continue to do their work, they'll get the benefit. So right. they can be transformed and then not do their work. Right. So um, every single, every single guest, I think I've only had two um, that I was like, mm, okay. Is there one thing that will fix every problem? Is there one particular thing? Like, you're not going to be able to really physically touch and, and go through the process with everybody who watches. But is but there everybody something who that you can, can say, go through the process? Right, they can they do can, the work. Right. But they can watch. And is there one particular thing that they can do to fix any problem? I remember forgive. You, we spoke. Forgive. Right. I was just going to say forgive. that. I remember forgive. you telling me forgive. that because, forgiveness. Yeah. When you forgive, you fall in love. And love is the universal healer. Yeah. Most of us don't trust, don't love, and we judge because we haven't forgiven ourselves or other people. Forgiveness you, is the you spiritual laxative. You used the word laxative. spiritual. I was just going to say, you yeah, used the spiritual term laxative. spiritual laxative. It really is. But that's why, you know, I have a new book coming out called Uh-oh. Get Over It. Get Over Where, It? Get Over It. Whatever it is. Is your it, you know, impractical uh Techniques in living is your is your it uh, inappropriate timing? What is your it? Right. And 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 I'm teaching people how to do the work because the thing is, I always say do the work. A lot of people don't even have a clue of what I'm talking about. Yeah. So now I'm giving you the work to do. What is your it? Coffee, ice cream. No, uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> my it. What would my it be? I thought that would be my it. I, I thought. thought, you know, IT. I thought I was right. I thought this was it. I thought he was the he one. He was the one. I thought I was wrong. I thought I couldn't. I thought I should. I thought IT. That's my it. I mm. thought. Who are your sheroes? Mm. Cause you're you're a lot of people, Cheryl. Well, I first of all, my daughter Jamia Ibae, you know, who passed away in two thousand and three. My grandmother, who was part Native American, part African American, who cooked and cleaned rich folks' houses to feed me and my brother after my mother died. Mm. Um, Because your mother died when you were very young. Two, yeah. You know who is is my Shiro? Um, All of the mothers in the Marcy, Albany, Brookline, Kingsboro projects, Because, you know, Brooklyn, that's my hometown. That's your hometown. Who just have a vision. They may never realize it. But to give yourself permission to have a vision when you are in the midst of sorrow and suffering, that's my Shiro right Mm -hmm. there. 
Have you seen Black Panther? I haven't, but I did buy six tickets because whenever a black movie hits the screen, I buy tickets even if I don't go. You you know what? You, you have to see it. Because <laughs> I am, I am go- Listen, I can't go to the movie, to. boo. Why not? Ask your community why. Because they... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I the whole wait. theater. I know, but I've got to wait till it dies down. I can't right. get in the line. Right. I can't right. get popcorn. Right. Yeah. And then but once you... they realize where I am, then they're tapping me on the right. shoulder right. Right. in the right. dark, right. taking right. pictures. That's how we do. I can't go to the movie. <laughs> but I do, anytime yeah. a black film comes out, I buy a minimum of two tickets on Fandango, yeah. even if I don't go, because mm-hmm. I want those tickets counted. So I bought six tickets. I was trying to give them away. Everybody had tickets. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was telling my radio sister, Ann Tripp, I said, you know, after seeing that movie and seeing that female army, you oh, remind on. me of one of our yeah, soldiers. I am. You I'm a and warrior. Lady O and uh-huh. Ann Tripp. Yeah. You know, she's one of my sheroes here at BLS. And you reminded me so much of the female army that we so very need. Like, we've got the Black Panther female army, but we've got the real-life female army, and I you're definitely that. one of the soldiers. Thank you. Love you to pieces. I just now, wish they would let me go to the movie. Well, I, I know. To, I can't go to the movie, I'm the Walmart, just... the Dollar Tree. The woman chasing me down in Dollar Tree. <laughs> I was just trying to get my little dollar. You, know, you, you go, go to, to Dollar, dollar Tree? What? I I can, to... Am I black? Let me tell you, Bill Gates, you know, he doesn't do supermarket shopping, so I think once you get to a certain level, maybe you don't go to soup. No, you no, don't no, no. You know what? Market. I refuse to give up the freedom that my ancestors fought for. There you go. Because somebody thinks that I'm special. <laughs> I pee like everybody else. I got two feet <laughs> like everybody else. I told somebody today, I just realized that the hair in my armpits is turning gray, just like everybody else's. Yeah. So, yes, I go to the Dollar so Tree, you go the to Walmart, Dollar Tree? the Target. Yeah, I love the Dollar Tar-Jay. Tree. Target. Oh, my good. Target. I love the Dollar Tree. Yeah, Wait. I love Target. <laughs> she says Tarjay. Yeah. I love Tarjay. That must and be J.C. A... Penney. That must be. <laughs> I love JC that must Penney. be a Brooklyn thing. They told me they were. They told me they were closing them. I was very distraught. Wow. But the Dollar Tree. I don't care when I go in there. You know. Now you know what I'm doing in the Dollar Tree. I'm collecting colored glasses because they have them in different colors. So I go to the different Dollar Trees to see what color they have. I've got pink. I've got green. I've got turquoise. They're a dollar. What when can do you, you do? have time to do this? When the people ain't chasing me down the street. <laughs> in the middle the of the night. Like me. almost. Five Five minutes before they close or something oh like that. Oh, my God. Yeah. No, you know what? I go in the middle of the day. When people at when work. When nobody's there. That's yeah, why I'm go. waiting to go see the now Black Panther. Now they're going to be there now, though. But the Black Panther's been crowded all day, all night, that's Tuesday, That's right. And five. that's a good thing. I even went to the Senior Citizen Show. <laughs> I couldn't get, get in either. Get out of here. I sure did. I gave them my little Fandango <laughs> card and paid the discounted fee. For it. And I was like, oh, I can, this is too much. I oh. can't do this. Well, we yeah. got to get you in there. You got to see this movie. I am. I would love to hear what you think. Well, I, everybody calls me and tells me, like, I wrote it. They talk to the ancestors yeah, in they there. Did. I said, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I've been telling y'all I that for really years. Would so like maybe to know. now people will do it and they won't think that I'm a heathen trying right. to no. just send everybody to hell because I'm telling people. <laughs> To talk to the ancestors. No, you are our soldier. Ian Levanzan, everybody. Whose life would you like to fix? My own. Hell. Is what? Ain't nobody fixing your life? No, I can't. You know what? The cellulite has taken over the left side. It don't eye. matter. Men love cellulite. I can't fix it. I can't fix it. I keep talking to the cellulite. I tried to coach it. I prayed on it. Everything. I laid Men hands. love cellulite. There's men in this room. Yeah, they love cellulite. Really? You need me to get somebody to love your cellulite? Please, Because I can fix help your life. Sister out. I will help you out. <laughs> fix your life. Call me up. We're going to fix it. Y'all look like. Help sister out. It's yeah. just the left thigh. I need to fix that right we there. We're going to get it taken yeah. care of. I love whenever you stop by. I think I if I had it. to fix anything, I would love to fix the White House. Notice I didn't say I the, was going to ask you that. I didn't the people that. in the White House. What, I didn't where say, would you start first, though? <laughs> where would you start? Yeah. I'd have to ask Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Some things only Jesus can yeah. fix. I really, yeah. oh, my Lord. Ooh, mm-hmm. yeah. I would love to do that. But we we going to get over that. Yeah. We're going to get over that. And let me tell you, we've added a special um, treat to Fix My Life this year, something right. called Behind the Fix. So when the show goes off on television, okay. then you come to my YouTube channel, and I'm showing you back scenes Back, you know, behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes. Isn't mm-hmm. that wonderful? That is phenomenal. Yeah. And I, because we also didn't talk about the fact that I'm coming home to Brooklyn. First time in 18 years well, I'll be speaking in Brooklyn. Share. Yes. Please share. And Not to the, the Dollar Tree. No. No, Do we have Dollar the, Trees in Brooklyn? Yeah, I believe so. They got them Do everywhere. They? Where? they got them everywhere. Dollar Trees are everywhere. I know. It's like the Dollar National stores. Chapel. No, 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 no. Not store. 
It's not the same as the tree? Dollar Tree. Got to have the green <laughs> letters. <laughs> well, we're okay. going to have to find out if they got them in Brooklyn. But where are you going to be? First time in 18 years I'm doing a solo tour, and I'm coming all the way across the country from L.A. to Brooklyn. I'll hit here. Right. I start the tour April 5th, okay. and I'll hit Brooklyn May 6th. All right, mark that on your a calendar. Special guest with me, I won't tell you who. I'm going to be at the King Theater in Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. King Theater. I really wanted to go into the Brooklyn Academy of Music, but they were. Both? I shop in the Dollar Tree. I should tell you Do about we my make... financial standards. So <laughs> oh, we can I'll make a go call. To the King Theater. You know we can make a call. Oh, no, the Bam is that's a. I would love Bam. to do the Bam. That's well, a... we put it out there. Bam, get the call in, Yala, <laughs> Yala's people. Yeah. So that's May six. May six. And you won't be stopping in Manhattan. You don't want to no, no, show no, no, no love. Jersey. Jersey is showing out. Jersey is almost sold out, and I'm not going Look to Jersey until April. So Brooklyn tickets just went on sale, but I'm going to Milwaukee and Chicago and Atlanta, Baltimore, um, Philly, Chi Town. Yeah, I'm uh, um, uh, in Akron, Ohio. I don't know what the heck is in Akron, Ohio. I hope there's some black people you. out there, so I'm gonna be there. You're gonna be there. Uh, and Columbus, Ohio, mm -hmm. and so doing 14 cities across the country. Oakland, gotta go to Oakland, going to L.A. 14 wow. cities across the country on my way home. And is that all that we got the book? The book gonna, is out. Is the get book going to be it. out at the same time? The book is out now. Okay. Get over it. Thought therapy for healing the hard stuff. Please, 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 please let's do our work. Because we, you know what? We're suffering for no reason. Mm -hmm. People are suffering for no reason. I, I said this this morning, and I'm going to say it again. I don't know where it came from. But I said, you know, just think that our great, 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 great grandmothers and grandfathers laid in the bottom of a ship chained next to somebody that they didn't even speak the same language. Right. Eating slop that was thrown at them, picking it off the wall, licking it off of each other, only to be unchained and sold, raped, beaten, worked like mules, and they survived. And we've fallen apart because Boo Boo leaves us after six weeks. Come on, something wrong. Mm. We don't need to be suffering from things that are so less than who we are. But we haven't been taught how to use our minds. And for us, as a community, as a people, we have an addiction to struggle. We like it. Yeah. Struggle and drama. Yeah. We like it. You know, and if we don't have something wrong, some struggle, some drama going on, we think that, you know, it's not good. Thought therapy is gonna help us clean that up. Mm -hmm. Because we need to use our minds to create the way that our ancestors did. That's right. How did they get from Mississippi to Baltimore to get free? Mm. We can't get free from American Express card. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't get free from you know, ourselves. We are enslaved too. A lot to of the people ATM need to machine. forgive themselves. Mm -hmm. Forgive themselves. Yeah, for, so. You know, some people can't get past their past. Well, you know what? It's what you think about it. Yeah. It's what you think about it. You know, I, I, I know that we have a lot of this in our community. Molestation of children, yeah. incest, violation. You know, I was raped as a child by the, the male caregiver that was raising me, you know. And when I told, it was ignored and denied. And I think that did more damage to me, saying to the adults of my life, he hurt me, he did something wrong, and everybody acted like it didn't happen. And it took me a long time to realize that the only thing he took from me was, was what I was giving him in my mind. And the minute I realized that he hadn't taken my soul, my spirit, my talents, my gifts, my beautiful face, he hadn't taken my DNA, right. he hadn't taken anything. So if I could just forgive his bad behavior, I could move into another way of being. But we, we, ha we're suffering. We don't need to change. We don't need to suffer. And it breaks my heart. And I don't want us to suffer anymore. Yeah, well, it makes um, my heart feel full now that I know you're going to come into our communities now and feed our spirit, not only from the the uh, Yala Fix My Life show, now you're coming to us live. Yeah. And I'm hoping that you'll come back to the Circle of Sisters this year. Remember, you you came to I the know, Circle of Sisters, but you did know what a phenomenal filming? job. My, my, you know, my, it's my schedule. I never left the community. I go to the Dollar Tree, okay? Right, I that's mean. right. No, I'm talking about coming to speak into our spirits. We I can't know. see you at the Dollar Tree and get you to speak into no, our spirits. No, you cannot. Leave me right, alone exactly. in the Dollar so Tree and the Walmart and the I'm glad to hear Tajay about this tour. And the movie theater. Can you imagine?
imagine people taking pictures of yeah. me in the movie theater. Yeah. In the yeah. movie theater. I it. Mm -hmm. okay. No, because so I not look like an eye. I'm That's standing there getting popcorn. <laughs> I, I pop up on somebody's Facebook page because they tag me and say Shayla was getting popcorn. Oh yeah, 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 right. And so you I know, can imagine I what it's like for you. That's how I keep people up off of me. I be looking so bad. They say, <laughs> this is what they say. They say, ooh, you look like that lady on the television. <laughs> Because <laughs> I look so bad. I mean, just rip toe down. That's because it. I have to trick them. Right. And right. I'm fine until I open my mouth. Once I open my mouth, it's They so know, yeah. yes. And I'm glad that you're opening your mouth. Keep your <laughs> mouth open, girl. Okay. I love you. Thank I you love for you back. all that you do. Let me give a shout out to all my AKA Soros and my Delta sisters, Ooh. too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Iyama Von Zant, Fix My Life. Coming back to own uh, March, March 3rd. 3rd 9 p.m. Make sure you're watching. Yeah, and this season's all about family. All about family. Every single show is about family. So please watch and take notes and then visit me at Behind the Scenes. Yeah, and how we follow you. How can we follow you? Besides following oh. you in the Dollar okay, Tree, now you how can we follow you on social media? Retarded. So I know you have to like me on Facebook. Right. But then I think you Twitter me on Tweet or what? Tweet me on Twitter what? or whatever it is. <laughs> Name, just Iyanla Van Zandt? Yes, yes. Because okay. uh, I don't know. I Sometimes can't people take your name. I, there's a lot of it. Listen, let me just say this. At home here in New York, I will never ask you for money online. Okay. Because there was this big thing going on about feed the orphans or save the cats or something, and somebody was sending people prayers and asking them for money. I will never ask you for money online unless you're getting something in return, something tangible. Okay. A book, a CD, or whatever. Gotcha. Can I tell you something? What? We just here forever. I don't I know. I know, but that's how we do. Okay. So go ahead. Acts of Faith. Do you know what Acts of Faith that is? That was the book that I carried around like a Bible. Yeah, the yes. little purple book. Yes, it was. She's going to be 25 years old this year. I was carrying it probably when it was about 20. <laughs> And no, I, th I think I got it when it first came out. We're having out. a national birthday party for Acts of Faith in November. I got to be there. 25 Where years old. Where is it going to be? be? Online Please don't and say. everywhere. I'll come up here. I'm, I mean, she, well, actually, you she gotta was born start in here. Philly. Okay, I'll start here. Please start at yeah. home. Please yeah. start here. I, I will. beg you, because I think the first interview I've ever done with you, I told you how I carried that book. I know, right? I still have it. It's falling apart. Yeah, I know. I still well, have that book. Well, we're going to put a book. new, we're looking for an African American artist right now. We're going to put a new cover on it. You know, her cover was done by Cynthia St. James, who oh, did I the first that. Kwanzaa stamp. So we're going to put a new cover on her. And she's going to be 25 years old. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't even. Long. There are people in the Who in this room ain't 25? Uh, there's one. She's 25. She's just 25. <laughs> How old are you? You look suspicious. <laughs> Acts of Faith. Okay. That was my Acts book. Of Faith. She's going to be 25 years old. So I really want to breathe her life back into her because there's some millennials. Yeah. They haven't read Acts of Faith. That's what's wrong with them. Yeah. That's, <laughs> matter of fact, today's sisterly kiss I'm going to take from Acts of Faith today. Okay. All right. And dedicate it to her for her 25th birthday. Oh, and you're going to come back in November. I will come and back And we're going to kick November. off the celebration I'll come back right here. you call me. No, no, no. I don't want to have Listen. to call you. Okay. I, I want you to just say, just come. I need to go see Shayla because okay. I'm doing this. But okay, so I'll come back, but you, let's find the Dollar Tree in Brooklyn. Yes, we're going to do that for you. I have to do that for you. Because they could have some different color glasses. You will have all have. the Dollar Trees calling up yeah, here today talking about, tell y'all we're over That's here. Right. Is this Flatbush? an endorsement? How can you endorse the Dollar Tree? Everything is a dollar. <laughs> Listen, they gonna be calling you though. Uh, don't, I love the Dollar. Don't you know, think they won't. The Dollar Tree is to me what uh, Groupon is to Tiffany Haddish. Right. I, I, love, I even got my manager going to the Dollar Tree. I make him go there and buy stuff. <laughs> what was that like meeting Tiffany? Because I know you did the she movie. She is a who, but they're all. Beautiful, but you she's know, new to us. Well, she's a new energy. Yeah, but you know what? I'm auntie to her, right. so she was, you know, fawning over me. Oh, yeah, you know, and and Queen, I just love her and yeah. Jada. It, they they were just so wonderful. Mm -hmm. But I learned that you know making movies that ain't what I want to do. No, I don't. Ooh, no. Listen, it took us eight hours to shoot three minutes, and I had on high heels. And they shoot this angle and that angle. See, television, you know, you have four cameras. You shoot right. that puppy one time, you down. But in the movie, you got to shoot it from the high and the low yeah, and the left and right. the right and the over your eye. Right. And then you got to be on the shoulder. And then you got to be under the arm. And, <laughs> you know, and, yeah. and they shoot this. I'm like, mm. 
Yeah, this the, I see why y'all make the big bucks. Yeah. Put me in the chair and put the camera in my face because I'm old. <laughs> but TV, I think TV takes as much time, too. You know, um, they have to redo things. Well, and, you know, it, it depends on what you're doing. Right. I mean, even TV to do, like, scripted drama and right. stuff, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure it takes the, the, the same amount of time. I don't do that. Right. I get in and out. So Yala Fix My Life is like one take. Yeah, yeah, because it's reality. We right. don't have scripts. We're not right. scripted. Nothing is scripted on on Fix My Life. We we go in, we pray, and we start. Mm -hmm. And what you see is what you see. But there's so much you don't see. You know, I'm there two and a half, three days, sometimes four days. You see 48 minutes. So there's so much that you don't yeah. see. That's why it's important now that we get the behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're going to get it March behind 3rd. Make sure you're watching. Yeah. All right, Behind the Fix. Yeah. Yala Banzan, everybody. God bless you. Love you to pieces. You know that. <laughs>